Sure Shot Archery welcomes you to the 2015 Outdoor Nationals. The video you see here is from the, uh, the senior men's recurve um, portion of the shooting. Uh, this is actually us shooting under the lights because we experienced some rain delays in the morning that uh, pushed our time uh, back much later and we ended up shooting under the lights. My main goal of this video is to show you what Outdoor Nationals in Decatur, Alabama looked like and uh, the layout of the field just in case uh, we hold it here next year. I mean, uh, not me. I don't make that call. It's up to USA Archery to decide. But let's get down to the most important part of this whole thing. What does this field look like if you did not attend Outdoor Nationals? So as you can see here, they have a finals field, a practice field, the 70 and 60 meter field, so uh, senior and junior recurve shooters and uh, cadets. They have a clout field, official, just for the clout round. And I believe there was like, a, you know, a learning archery spot too for people that wanted to, uh, you know, try out archery at an extremely close distance. And then you had the 30 and 25 meter field. And then compound seniors is all the way down at the 50 meter field away from everybody else. Other than that, you have some parking, and right in that middle area that says concessions, there was a whole bunch of vendors, and uh, we'll check them out in a little bit. Here is a look at the main uh, concession building, and I think USA Archery set up their uh, their offices in there. Uh, Beastinger showed up. And, of course, Lancaster Archery, which is probably the most helpful thing out of everything, because they bring so much equipment and such in there that you know you need knocks they got you covered you need uh arrows they got you covered i i believe they even bring a bow press they got you know all the tools to put new knocks and veins on your arrows so uh extremely helpful uh next up we got easton and then there's some uh other vendors along the sides here i'm not exactly sure who they were um concessions right there and as we turn around here going to see that is the practice field which was you know pretty well sized but it, it could definitely be bigger in certain points of time because um, I did run into several times that I actually had a lack of targets I was waiting for other shooters to get done shooting so that I could uh, practice most of this was before main events but yeah still would have been nice if there were more open up oh, there is archers up shots and we're going to move over here to uh, the guys making the t-shirts for the event. Um, you can pick one of those up and they're, they're customizable. So they had a whole bunch of different designs, a whole bunch of different designs of um, the Nationals logo. And you can put them on all different spots of the t-shirts, sweatshirts, etc. Which was uh, kind of neat. Um, we're going to head over this way to some of the other vendors. Now, uh, overall, I would say there was a very uh, fair amount of vendors here uh, compared to you know previous years the best personally I feel is the uh, Lancaster archery trailer because that always came in you know the most handy for me uh, when I was shooting if I needed something or uh, decided to pick up a piece of equipment without paying any shipping because I could just uh, ship it back in my uh, my luggage well that was your look at Outdoor Nationals 2015 in Decatur, Alabama. Sorry I couldn't pick up uh, some more video, but uh, the way the fields were set up and everything being, uh, you know, kind of far apart, that uh, it was really hard to jump on other fields and, you know, get video of people shooting and, you know, just, just getting, uh, you know, more of the action going on just because, it, you know, it was, it was a fair walk to, to each spot and then, you know, everybody split up. Overall, though, uh, it went pretty well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope this gives you uh, an idea of the size and scope of, you know, USA Nationals. Hope to, to see you there uh, maybe next year. Who knows where it'll be, but, uh, you know, it's always a good time. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting.